Sometimes no follicles or eggs reach the finish line. Thus we don't ovulate. Thus there's no corpus luteum formed. Thus we do not, progester we do not produce progesterone. But still those follicles will make estrogen. So we can still have a period even if we're not ovulating. These cycles are called anovulatory cycles. A meaning no, zero, zilch, anovulatory. So we're not ovulating. But because estrogen is building up the lining of our uterus, the endometrium, then that will eventually slough off and we will have a bleed. Now, that's not a true menstrual cycle, okay? You have to have progesterone to have a true menstrual cycle. And when things like low thyroid, hypothyroidism, stress, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, or perimenopause, that time when hormones are kind of wanky before we have our true menopause, all those things can cause anovulatory cycles. And anovulatory bleed also happens when we have the hormonal implants or injections for birth control or control of our cycles, if you will. Because those medications, those hormones, don't allow us to ovulate, but we can still have estrogen building up the lining of our uterus, thus we're going to bleed. Now that's a little bit different than the birth control pill. The birth control pill also prevents us from ovulating, thus we don't have progesterone. However, the bleeds that we get from being on the uh, birth control pill are called withdrawal bleeds. So we have a hormone in the form of a pill for 21 days, and then we take those hormones away and that's what causes us to bleed. And that's called a withdrawal, or we're withdrawing from those synthetic man-made hormones. That's what's causing us to bleed. And again, that's not a true menstrual cycle because we didn't ovulate, we didn't have progesterone.